What's poppin' T-Squad? It's your girl, Keisha, a.k.a. Cover Me Pick, and I'm here with this week's All T All Shade, Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, Season 3, Episode 5 Review. Okay, you guys, so this week's episode starts off with Giselle asking Pep Pepsi what happened to the bottle of Casa Azul that she brought from the States to Phuket. So apparently, the last time she saw the bottle, it was when she... Portia and Pepsi took a shot. After that, she said that she could not find the bottle. And at this point, she thinks that somebody took it. So Giselle goes to Portia's room, who's in there doing her makeup, by the way. And you can tell by the picture on the screen how that was going. <laughs> and Giselle tells Portia that she's going to find out who took her bottle of Casa Azul at lunch. So Giselle was like, you know, Candace told everybody to shut the F up at my party, and I don't like that. And Portia was like, I, yeah, what was that? And Giselle was like, I don't know, but now you know why no one likes her. And Portia was like, that's true, that's true. So, you know, things between Portia and Candy Eyes are really rocky, and the girls are not getting along. I can't wait to see, like, what exactly makes them finally come to some sort of truce where you know, months later, she was then invited to Portia's wedding. So I can't wait to see how that whole thing comes around full circle. So then we go to Leah talking to Heather um, about, you know, Portia not tagging her and Candace in her last Instagram post, <laughs> which is so ignorant and just childish as I don't know what. Candace joins them in the room and Candace was like, you know, Portia is an imposter. She acts like she's dumb, but she's well aware of what she's doing and saying this passive aggressive high school BS. Oh, I'm going to post a pic of the group and not tag you. You're a petty, toxic biatch and you wanted problems and beef. So I'll give you some problems. And I'm like, you want to rumble with a B, huh? Bzz, throw a hex on the whole family. And Candace got a mouth. We all know Candace got a mouth, and we all know that Candace can read down. But I feel like going against Portia, I think that she ain't made it to that level yet. Because Portia knows how to get underneath your skin and, like, literally, like, torment you. It's not so much that she'll read you down because, yes, yeah, she can do that. But Portia is even funny, though. Like, fu Portia will taunt you and make fun of you versus shade you. Like, she'll literally talk about you <laughs> like how I do. Like, she's a joner. Like, she'll talk about you. And that's what it gets you. Whereas Candace will read you for filth and call you out your name and all that type of stuff and say you dumb. And she likes to talk about how smart she is. Whereas Portia is the type of person where she going to talk about you physically, about your mama, about your relationship. Like, that's the type of person that she is. So I don't know if she's ready for that type of shade because she often throws it to other people. Like, she, you know, Candace like to talk about Ashley forehead and when she was pregnant, talking about her wide body. I don't think she's ready for somebody to literally tell her to her face that she looked like Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> She's ready for that. Or that she looked like John Leguizamo into Wong Fu. You're just a boy in a dress. Like, I don't think she's ready for that. I think she will literally go in a corner and sob uncontrollably. So the ladies didn't head into town. And baby, Leah got on this real cute outfit. She got on this skirt with big holes, you know, going down the sides of it. And you obviously cannot wear underwear in it. But the gag is she's on her menstrual cycle. So I'm like, Leah, Leah, darling, why are you walking around the streets of Phuket in this God awful heat with no drugs on while you on your period? This is what I be talking about, y'all, when I be saying that women that don't wear underwear, y'all nasty. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, that is disgusting to me for a woman to wear, not wear underwear with skirts. Let me clarify that. I don't like to find out when 
women don't wear underwear with skirts or a dress. I think that is so trifling and nasty because we as women know when we sit down in a seat, our vagina is sitting right along with us on that seat. So your vagina lips and clitoris is literally pressed face down onto the seat of a chair. And then somebody coming in and sitting behind you like at a restaurant or a movie, like that is disgusting. And Leah sitting up here walking around with a holy dress on, on her menstrual cycle, knowing she only got on a tampon. You know, with tampons, they ain't fully, fully secure. Like you could leak up. Like I just want to heave and throw up. It was just disgusting to me. Just so nasty. Oh my goodness. So, and then it was hot. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That's, no, mm -mm. that's, that's another level of trifling. That's some white folks stuff right there, child. I just can't get with that one. So, they get to the markets and the stores and stuff, and she's complaining about being hot. Like, she's so hot. She's so hot. And I'm like, Leah, like, you just been complaining this whole trip so far. And I'm like, girl, can you be quiet, please? Next thing you know, she was like, I can't feel my legs. And then she falls to her knees, child. Now, most people, when they fall out, they don't fall forward. They normally <laughs> all backwards and i'm like was she really that hot or was she carrying on i hate to say that but it was funny y'all i felt so shame for laughing but that whole scene had me over her tickled pink it was so funny to me because leah is so dramatic and i just could not take her seriously with this passing out child everybody fanning her portia sitting up there laughing child Leah talking about some, don't lift my legs. I'm not wearing underwear. Where's Pepsi? Pepsi, Pepsi, I don't want to die. I also had diarrhea today. I think I'm dehydrated. Like, girl, just TMI, stuff that we do not need to know. We already know you're over there bleeding. <laughs> now we know that you've been on the toilet, you know, running at the booty hole. Like, that's nasty, girl. So Portia and her confession was also, why she ain't got no panties on on her period? And Giselle was like, now she's nasty, Liv. <laughs> you know, black folks don't be playing about stuff like that, child. We be looking at you sideways. Like, mm -mm, that's nasty. Leah is then taken back to their house and the other girls go and have lunch together. And at lunch, Giselle confronts who she believes are the people that could have possibly stolen her Casa Azul. And the people that she uh, accuses is Heather, Marisol, and Candias. And Heather and her confessional home said, you know, there's a part of me that's secretly thrilled. Like, when the mean girl gives you attention, you don't care. You just want the attention. And I'm like, Heather, are you like reliving your teenage years through this trip? Like she acts like she is literally in the babysitter's club or in an episode of uh, Saved by the Bell or Mean Girls or the Heathers or Jawbreakers. Like, girl, can you please act like the 40-something, 50-something year old woman that you are? Like you are so desperate for validation. Like, you need to really get some self-esteem and some self-awareness about yourself. Like, cause it's pathetic. Like, I think she thinks that she's funny, but it literally comes across pathetic that you want other people to pay attention to you and validate you. And you obviously don't care much about yourself. Like, you don't think you're a pretty woman. Like, you, like, idolize other women and let them talk to you and treat you any kind of way just to say that they acknowledge you or, you know, want to be acquainted with you. Like, it's weird, Heather. It's so weird. Uh, please get it together. Please use some of that money from your cosmetic thing that you over there doing for a living. And please go get some therapy because that's not cute. It's just simply not. Ugh. So, um... Candace was like, Giselle, you stole the bottle. <laughs> like, girl, ain't nobody took that bottle. You took it. And I honestly, truly, like, think that Giselle really did take it, like, or put it somewhere. Because, like, 
Giselle likes to cause a stir. She likes to produce the show and she likes to create moments. And so Candace was like, you tried to send me to jail in Mexico. And they tell this whole story about uh, Giselle uh, encouraging her to take some liquor at a restaurant because she Candace didn't know that you couldn't take it from the restaurant, come to find out that you couldn't. And, you know, it could have been a whole thing. So Giselle was like, just give me my bottle. I would like to search your rooms. And all the other girls was like, you can search mine down. I don't care. Candace was like, you ain't searching my room. But at some point she said that she, uh, she would allow the staff or production to go in her room and look, but Giselle could not. So Candace then confronts Portia about the IG post. And I'm like, Oh my God, this is so stupid. A uh, IG post. Why do you care whether or not she tagged you? Like in real life, you would not care about things like this, but because they're filming a reality show and you got to make a mountain out of a mohill, I guess Jesus. So Portia was like, I ain't got to explain my Instagram post to you. And Candace was like, was it an oversight? And Portia was like, hell no, I wasn't. I don't like that girl talking about Leah. And Candace was like, well, she wasn't the only one that wasn't tagged. I'm also asking for myself. You know how people are going to perceive it and ask questions. And Portia was like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. And I think that it's wrong for her to say she don't like Leah because you barely know her. I mean, everybody's not going to get along. Everybody's not going to be each other's cup of tea. Do I feel like Leah has been a little whiny and complainy? Yes, 100%. But I don't think that it's anything to the point where I would not like her. But, you know, it is what it is. So um, Candace was like, well, it's a form of cyberbullying. And everybody started laughing because, girl, that is a reach, honey. That is a leap, honey. Like, you're doing team too much. Alexia and her confessional says, Candace is childish. And I was like, join the circus. We all know that Candace is very, 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 very childish. Portia was like, are you hurt? Are you hurt? Are you hurt? And this is, <laughs> this is what I've been talking about with Portia. Like, she know how to get underneath your skin. And Candace was like, are you taunting me? Are you bullying me? And Portia was like, can someone uh, fold this into a triangle? <laughs> talking about, it was either like a napkin or a scarf or something. Child, I was hollering. It was so funny. So Candace was like, I wanted to make it known in the group that you're passive aggressive and petty. And Alexa was like, well, Candace, you told us yesterday to shut the F up. We don't talk like that. And I'm like, Alexia, y'all do talk like that in Miami. So you really need to stop. You one of the main people that tell somebody to shut the F up. Girl, shut up. So Portia was like, why every time I say something to you, do you have to scream? You go from zero to 1,000. And Candace says, I'm a loud talker. Portia was like, she wants the followers. That's what she wants. That's why she feeling some type of way. And Candace was like, girl, you are so predictable. Because, you know, earlier in the episode, she told the girls that that's exactly what Portia was going to say. And Portia 100% said it. So then Portia was like, girl, did you eat today? Did you eat today? You need Pedialyte, PJ. <laughs> Candace didn't know what to say after that. When that lady told her you need Pedialyte PJ, I got to admit, that tickled me. I was over her cracking up. Because that shut Candace up. She ain't know what to do after that. Like, when somebody drone on you and shade you in a funny way, like, there's really nothing that you can do, like, but just be mad or just be sad. <laughs> That's why her little antics don't really work with Portia. It works to an extent because it is bothering Portia, but at the same token, like I said, uh, much like Candace, Portia knows how to push your buttons. So the ladies then leave and head back to the house and um, on the ride home, Heather tells Candace that the people think that she Nicole Brown Simpson. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, Jesus. Heather, that is not a good thing that people think that you look like a dead white woman. That does not bode well for you, love. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. So... On the way home, Heather in the car talking all this stuff about what she would say to Giselle and how she was feeling. 
And Wendy was like, why you ain't say that then? Like, why don't you say this stuff to them? And she was like, well, that's not the type of woman that I want to be. Okay, if that's not the type of woman that you want to be, then don't talk stuff, period. Don't bring it up. Keep it in your brain. Keep it in your head. Don't let it come out your mouth. And Whitney was like, see, this is what I be talking about. Heather likes to talk behind people's back. And I'm seeing what Whitney is saying. Like, Heather really is the op. Like, she is a weirdo. So, Portia in their car was like, you know, Candace wants a moment with me. I thought she was a regular person. She's an actress. And I was like, correct. Very much correct. Y'all more alike than y'all are different, though. Like, she literally could be your little sis. How Portia was Nene's little sis, Candace could be her little sis. So, they get back to the house, and Giselle is just going on and on and on and on and on about this tequila bottle. And telling the staff and production to go and check Candace's room and um, to uh, escort her to the room and look through her bags. And it's like, what are you doing, Giselle? Like, really? Like, you, once again, you go too far. And this is what's going to end up getting you fired because you're going too far and you're doing too much to create drama and a scene and a moment for ratings for this show. You're really turning into a Lisa Renna where you're producing so much that you're doing too much and you're going too far. And you see where that led Lisa Renna. You see where it led Needy. You see where it led Tamara. You see where it led Vicky Gumbleson. They have no problem with letting go of these OGs, honey. And you will be next. You're doing too much. Like, literally was running around this house yelling and demanding people to go and check this girl bags and stuff over a tequila bottle that you can get from the grocery store at home. Girl, sit down somewhere. Like, you doing too much. Like, really. So, Candace goes and checks on Leah and tells her, you know, that Portia says she ain't like her. And Leah, her confessional was like, you know, I'm living rent free in her head. What did I do to her? Like, or whatever. So Whitney in her confession was like, you know, it's really starting to feel like this is not about the bottle with Giselle. It seems like she just wants to prove Candace wrong because like she's literally still going around the house demanding that they go and check this girl wrong. So Giselle then goes into Leah's room and Leah asks her why Portia hates her. And she was like, she never said she hated you. And Candace was like, yeah, I never said that she hated you. She just don't like you. So Giselle then asks Candace to search her room. She was like, you're not searching my room. She was like, well, somebody from production, go and escort her in her room and check her stuff. Like, go and check it. Like, I'm like, who are you talking to? So Candace steps out the room and was like, I have no reason to lie. You're acting like a Karen. You can kiss my A. And like, she just carrying on, like losing her mind over this bottle. And it's like, you literally calling this girl a thief and wanting production to go through her room and bags and go through the girls' rooms over a liquor bottle, Giselle. This is what I'm talking about. Like, you just, oh, my God, this is why people don't like you and why you're so insufferable. And I don't want to see you come back this upcoming season to Potomac doing the same crap because it's old and it's tired, Okay. They got on Pepsi nerves so bad, arguing at lunch, arguing the whole time they've been there, that that man went into the confessional room and started crying. He didn't even know what to do with himself. He's so disappointed in these heifers and just tired of the arguing and stuff and people just saying whatever to each other. Like, oh my God, I felt so bad for that little poor man. Like, don't nobody want to deal with all that negativity. Like, y'all in a beautiful paradise place like yeah y'all gotta turn up but like come on respect the environment respect the people respect yourselves okay respect each other Ugh. overall though i'm gonna give tonight's episode a b plus because of the funny moments leah passing out well fake passing out in my opinion was funny as i don't know what and <laughs> portia tell candace she needs some pd like pj baby that tickled me Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode of the Ultimate Girls Trip down below in the comment section. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you all, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.